Hey guys, it's LP from Techno Buffalo, and today we're going to be looking at Nokia's new Express Music device, the 5730. It's a pretty interesting device that combines the media playing functions of the Express Music series with a QWERTY keyboard that's very similar to the keyboard on the E75. So in this video I'll be unboxing the device, and I'll be taking a look at the device's hardware and software, and I'll try to determine whether the 5730 is worth your hard earned cash. So here it is, it's not at all a bad looking device, I actually like the red and black coloring. But let's put it aside for a sec and check out the accessories. The device comes with the standard Express Music accessories. We have your standard Nokia charger which is always handy. I can add it to my collection still sticking with my theory that there are more Nokia chargers in the world than actual people. The device comes with a 1000 milliamp battery a USB sync cable which is quite short I may add. I guess the recession has taken its toll. We also have your operation manuals and software, and the software is actually on a mini DVD, which can be tricky if you own an optical notebook drive for example. I gotta mention one time I could not resist the urge and stuck one of these mini CDs in my old Acer notebook. I hit the eject button and three years later I'm still waiting for the CD to come out. Anyways, the device also comes with a pair of inner ear headphones, which if are anything like the N97 headphones, aren't too bad. The device also comes with a hands-free extension with playback controls, which is nice. Okay, those were the accessories, let's take a look at the device itself. I actually kind of like the look of the device. It looks a lot like the E75, which was Nokia's mid-range business device that was launched in the spring of this year. The exterior of the 5730 Express Music resembles the E75 to quite an extent. They're basically almost identical. The plastic covers have been changed, but the features are pretty much the same. A dedicated button for gaming has been added under the earpiece, and on the side of the screen you can find dedicated buttons for the music player. The device is equipped with a 3.5mm headphone jack, which is a standard feature for the Express Music series. The device also sports a USB sync port for connecting with your PC, and the device comes pre-installed with an 8GB micro SD card, which adds a little bang to the buck. On the opposing side, there's a dedicated button for the camera and a volume up and down rocker key. The back of the device wheels a 3.2 megapixel camera with an LED flash. Build quality of the device is solid. It does feel a bit plasticky, but I think the 5730 can take a few hits like the average Nokia phone. So let's put the device to a real test. Okay, enough joking around, I did not run it over with my car. Or did I? Anyways, the screen on the device is 2.4 inches with a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels. Brightness and contrast is good, and color reproduction is also very satisfactory. The screen supports up to 60 million colors. But let's get to the most interesting feature on the device which is the QWERTY keyboard. The slide out mechanism on the QWERTY keyboard is quite solid. The keyboard pops out with a nice snap. The keyboard itself is pretty much the same as the one on the E75. The keys are nice and big, and I have to say the QWERTY keyboard on the device is actually surprisingly good for a device in this price range. The keys have an ok feedback when pressed, but they could be a bit more elevated. The top row of keys is quite close to the screen, which causes at least my fat thumbs to rub against the screen when hitting the keys. I like the fact that even though the device has a dedicated QWERTY keyboard, it also has the basic phone numpad. Although the numpad does feel a bit plasticky, and the D-pad has a slight squeak to it. But I do like the LCD dot font that they've used on both the numpad and the keyboard. Okay, let's take a look at the software. I've mentioned in the past that I'm not too fond of the Symbian S60 operating system. It's definitely starting to show its age, but on the non-touchscreen device, it can be very efficient. The user interface is quite snappy and works without a hitch. On top of the home screen, a new widget has been added for your favorite contacts. It's a cool addition to the UI and it works nicely. Another cool feature is that you can add an online RSS feed to any contact. Also featured on the home screen are icons for quick access to the OV messaging app, email and music player. On the bottom there's a row of quick launch icons for some of the more used applications. The Facebook app especially seems to work quite nicely with the device. 
The Symbian music player is quite decent. It's nothing too flashy, but it gets the job done. The speakers are definitely good. The highs are sharp and the lows are clean, but the volume could be pushed up a notch. The device comes pre-installed with an 8GB memory card, which is quite a lot of space for legally purchased media content. The device features a 3.2 megapixel camera with a Carl Zeiss lens and an LED flash, and it's always nice to see dedicated keys for operating the camera. The camera takes good pictures in daylight, but image quality fades when the lights fade. The LED flash on the device is good for close range shots, but not enough to light up a room. The Symbian album application on the 5730 is actually pretty good. Thumbnails are rotated on a small carousel and axed with haste. The album application is actually a lot better than the album app on the N97, which I reviewed earlier. The 2.4 inch screen is a bit small for web browsing, but the Symbian web browser handles HTML pages with ease. The device does support 3D speeds, but it can be a bit slow at times when loading up pages. It's not a perfect device for web browsing, but for random web use, it's an okay device. The 5730 Express Music has some dedicated buttons for gaming, which are located under the earpiece. The device comes pre-installed with a bunch of game demos, which play quite nicely using the dedicated buttons. Wow, this game looks pretty cool. I'll definitely get this if the graphics look as good in-game. Okay, I just saved five bucks. This game looks like crap. Hmm, I wonder if this has the Nokia Snake game, which is a classic from the olden days. Back in the 90s, I actually competed in a Snake game competition. If I recall correctly, I came in last. In conclusion, the 5730 Express Music is an okay device. It has a good selection of features and a workable QWERTY keyboard. Audio playback on the device is great, and I kind of like the look and design of it. It's a nice fit in the hand, and it feels solid enough. Taking into account what you get for the price, I think this device deserves Techno Buffalo approval. Catch you next time, LP signing out.